Rain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my blog. On this episode of Rain Access Solutions, I'm going to open or unbox a Kuwaiku or the Ayizan um, digital microscope that I got from Lazada. I got it for 5,655 pesos. And um, it did not come with a instruction manual how, on how to assemble it. So I'm just going to try and assemble it without a manual. This is powered by a 12 volt adapter. And the input is 220 volts. It also comes with an HDMI connector, but it, it does not come with a VG connector cable. But this um, Kwaiku or Yizan camera or digital microscope is, uh, I mean, it can both um, accommodate VGA cable and HDMI cable. This means that you have an option to use the VGA or the regular or regular monitor if you don't have an HDMI monitor yet. The microscope camera feels a bit heavy and it feels like it's um, built for industrial uh, purposes. And the camera as well, I mean the microscope itself is also heavy and looks uh, sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap and it feels like it's worth your money. It also comes with an array of LED lights to illuminate the subject you're looking at. And this thing is powered by 220 volts. The plug is two pin, so you will have to use a three pin adapter for that. And here is the holder for the digital microscope. It is made of pure metal. And there's no plastic in it and it is also heavy it feels really heavy so be careful when you if you drop it you might damage it yes. Yes. I don't know why it has oil but I'm just rubbing off the oil of already was good uh, holiday bus he left to Philippines bus since it doesn't have a manual, I don't know how we, we can orient this uh, on the pole. But I'm guessing that if you're right-handed, right then the knob should be on the right side. It also comes with this small ring with screws. And here's the pole that we will use to secure the camera holder and we will attach it to the metal plate. So right now I'm gonna attempt to um, assemble this microscope without manual so sorry if I miss going to miss, miss out on something but we will try. Let's put the microscope holder first and slide it down on the through the a pole and we will use this screws that comes with it to secure it next is that we're gonna insert the um, the lens or the microscope lens and we're gonna secure it also with the screws that it was provided to us so there are only three screws here so if you lose one then you might have to ask the supplier And now we're going to unscrew the cap that's protecting the lens of the digital microscope. And that's the same for the lens. And we're gonna attach this on top of the lens. So right now I'm lightly trying to attach the camera slowly. So I don't want to tighten it really hard 
and I'm just gonna adjust the oh yeah I made a mistake here I should have put the ring first and the base next or the holder next the ring will add certain protection to the microscope holder and it will prevent it from sliding down so the ring is also secured with the proprietary screwdriver so there you go it's almost um, completely assembled I'm going to attach now the LED lights So as I said before, earlier, it is only using two pins, but I have attached a three pin adapter so I can use this in Papua New Guinea. In Papua New Guinea, the standard um, pins for connectors are three. I also bought this VGA switch and this is going to be used for switching between my monitor and for the camera, the monitor is always connected to my computer, but if I want to use the monitor for this um, microscope camera, then I will just press the switch on this VGA switcher. Then my monitor will serve as my um, microscope camera, as, I mean monitor as well. This switch will need to have three VGA cables. One will come from the camera, one from the computer and one is connected to the monitor for the output so if I press for example the button one then it will connect the PC to the monitor if I press the two then it will connect the microscope to the monitor so that's how this thing is going to be used The VGA port of this camera is located at the top. So your VGA cable will be protruding from the top. And you won't be able to tie it to the um, bar because you're going to be sliding the camera holder to it. So it's just going to be like that unless I find a way to make it um, tidy. Now I'm going to plug the LED light and see how strong the light is. Now it's time to test the monitor. The first time I switched this microscope on, I cannot see anything. So what I did was to put the uh, camera downwards, close to the base, and then I inserted a barcode underneath. So as you can see, there's a printout of barcode where I'm using it for my testing subject. So that's how you're going to do it. Bring the camera down first and try to adjust the focus of the camera. Uh, I mean, focus of the lens. And after that, once it's focusing nicely, you will have to adjust the height of the camera holder to see if you can create a bigger working space or working distance. The working distance is the distance between the camera lens and the base plate. So the more space you have in there, the better for you to easily do your job underneath the camera. You can easily desolder or solder anything underneath if you have a larger uh, working distance. So stay with me. I'm just going to calibrate this until I get the desired distance and the desired focus. The 
feel free to modify the parameters in the camera settings and find out which things work best for you. As you can see here, I got the right working distance and this should be fine for me. Oh, the only thing that I didn't like with this is that it didn't have a port for TFT cards or SD card. So in that case, I cannot actually directly record from this uh, microscope. And I can only point the camera from this side so you can see what's, what is going on on the screen. Here is how a video card component look like in this microscope. If I look at it, at the screen its colors are vibrant and the uh, the sizes of the components are greatly enlarged now we'll see and test my VJ switch if it's working properly so here I'm going to use uh, my tree screen to span across the uh, open apps and then later I'm gonna switch my um, switcher, VGA switcher 2 into uh, to my microscope. So once you switch back to microscope, it doesn't show anything but the wallpaper, just um, do something underneath or try to turn the focus knob and it will go back to showing you what's underneath the camera. The enlarged view is pretty decent and it's almost impossible to miss out on something on the logic board because everything is greatly enlarged and um, perfectly illuminated by the LED light. There you go guys, this is the Yizan or the Kwaiku digital microscope and it's pretty nice. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.